All right, guys, what's up? Thank you for clicking on the video. So in this one, we are going to head out to the Las Vegas ball field. And uh, what's, ha what's out here is it's uh, Concourse de Elegance. And uh, it's supposed to have uh, Koenigsegg, uh, Regera, I believe, is out there. Some of James Hatfield's cars, uh, some things like that. So Lace is with me. She has uh, taken off today from the strip club, so she's going to come with me. And uh, so that's a rarity. Yes, I know. I mean, Lace actually coming with me somewhere. Oh, boy. It's a real treat. So uh, we're going to go check out some cars, see what's out there, guys. So stick around. You're watching Night Drive TV. I always wanted to build fast cars, so self-taught I started with engine swaps, composites in my apartment to multiple shops, tuning, fabrication, and more. Ten years later, the big time. SEMA, Speed TV, I climbed from nothing, but I lost it all. This is my new ride, Night Drive TV. Drive this, 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 this. What? <laughs> so, so she didn't deny that that was her workplace, but <laughs> I was just kidding. But you know, if her mom's watching or somebody, you never know. You never know. Checking our Ticketmaster app, we have VIP tickets for this event, so we'll see how that translates to the experience. Right, guys real quick i uh, just wanted to interrupt the video because sema is coming it's only a few days away and if you follow my channel i put a big effort forth to capture a ton of video uh, i'm basically trying to package videos for all the same types of cars in one video so all the corvettes all supras all broncos so check that out guys a couple days lots of videos coming out from night drive tv so be sure to sub if you want all your sema insider info now to the show all right, guys, so we have made it in. We're going to kind of do a walk around, take a look. Not a bunch of cars out there, but some very unique things. So interestingly, you know, you come in here, you need to mask up to your eyeballs, but then you get in and you can take it off. You don't even need it anymore. Yeah, it makes, makes good sense to me, I guess. So Lisa's modeling over there. We'll have to see what the result is. If I get it, guys, I'll throw it right here in the video. Boom. If uh, I didn't show you anything, then you missed it. Let's see here. Very cool. It's got a 427 bundle of snakes. Uh, this is a 180 degree he header. Gives these a very Ferrari-esque uh, sound. This is a Mark IV, I believe. I'm not hugely well-versed on these, but I believe this may be a Mark IV. Happen Lace. So he paints cars. He's up in Portland, Oregon. He yeah. paints cars. Yeah. And he uses, he found that he likes the silhouettes of people. He paints like the silhouettes with the cars. Oh. So they're like shadowed images. Interesting. So pretty cool. All righty, guys. Who doesn't love a mid-year, right? You know, the straight lines on the fender wells made these cars. I, it's a point that I really love. And there's a Pandem kit for the C8. Some people are replicating kind of the squared off. People don't like it, but I'm like, it, it's what made these cars kind of have a stance. Really nice example. Great looking car. What? This. Oh, I spotted it from up above. It's, I know. This is a... Uh, <laughs> My my former business partner, the older guy, he loved to do his own thing. And uh, sometimes when people with lots of money do their own thing, it, it could go awry. <laughs> so, so it is a Corvette. That's what we're calling it. And you can see the kind of windshield. You can see there's, this is C5 here. You can see C5 mirrors and things like that. See, it's clearly C5 mirror, C5 window line and we definitely have c5 interior mostly intact these are twin lt4s i believe if i recall i'm assuming that's a chain drive something like that linkage but uh it is is a lot i realize this guy he approves 
Guys, you are looking at the GT SSC, which is a super, super car. Yep, super, super. So there you go, guys. Sign right up. Uh, Don't yeah. miss that one. The proportions are unique. I'll move on now. <laughs> you want it. Crash test. You want it? You have to crash this illegally, Lace. We got to crash a few of those. No, two under 250 manufacturing now. You can get away with it. That was before when we built cars. You had to crash test them. I mean, I just, it would look better. Yeah, if it took a good hit in the rear. Yeah. To push it in a little bit. Now here we go. Yeah, I was just gonna say. Here, here we, we go. go. Now we're talking. Uh, it's a 1970 Radilac, boys. We're looking at a Radilac. You'll daily that lace? You want that? Why not? You want to drive that to the salon? I mean the strip club? Yes. You want to drive it there? Yep. And just show up? Such a crazy looking styling that Aston Martin had in that era. They really downplayed their, their grill, which has been a staple for most Aston Martins, but they had this era to where they kind of were. It looks like a DeLorean in a lot of ways. Yeah. It has the like, that look to it. Well, that's the 80s. You look at the yeah. C4 Corvette. Uh, you look at the vector, certain things designed in that. It was called a, a Bertone type of styling, very edgy, very time captured for the 80s. I mean, and to have it, I mean, yeah. that's, that's pretty serious. Yeah. In this condition. Yeah. Even if it is a, you know, it's, it's a little, and it looks a little odd, obviously. It's like, catch your eyes. It's yeah. catch everybody's eyes. Right. Whether you like it or not. You'd drive it, Lace? Would you drive it? <laughs> no. What about, what about? Yes, I would drive that. You'd, it's fitted too. I mean, that thing's flush. She's flush. Look at that. I mean, that's very Euro-esque, but yeah, I mean, these are, so these are 190Es. These basically, uh, these cars competed with the E30 M3s and a lot of uh, touring racing and stuff like that. So these were four cylinders. You know, they, 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 they are going up in value because they have the Cosworth version. I don't think, 198, not sure. Not, not a huge aficionado on the Mercedes, but you can definitely see E30, three series BMW type of, you know, competitor. Lots of people wanted to get married in these in some era, right, Lace? Oh man, look at that. Yeah, you're, you get some service. That's pretty nice. I like that. And it's, I mean, look how, I mean, not a lot of leg room in the back, but look how like cushy it is. I mean, it is cushy looking. I mean, it is very. you have to admit, I mean, it looks like it hugs you like a couch. I, I wouldn't mind the leg room. I mean, that looks yeah. comfortable. Do you remember the shake of the V12 and the Diablo lace? Yes, I do. <laughs> Trust me, my eye has been on it walking that whole yeah, level up there. There it is. So we have a 996 era GT2 here, which uh, clearly um, the 996s have kind of held down as much as possible versus the others because people don't like the fried egg headlights. Um, but <laughs> other than that, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still very much a collector and uh so even the most accessible carrera 996s are going up in value but got a nice gen 5 just a simple gen 5 uh can't beat the color very cool looking car oh it's a 95 so so lace spent much of her time in the 97 yeah. uh, vt roadster these are, believe it or not, when you when you ride and drive this, there's so much room in this car, it's freaking crazy. And you can see, like, people scrutinize C5 Corvette interior, but this is the same era as C5, and, I mean, this is no real prize here, guys. I mean, so, I mean, look at the steering wheel. You know, look at some of the fitment. It's, you know, I tell people that, like, when you make fun of C5 interiors, just realize that nothing else was better. I mean, I don't know what they were comparing it to, but... But these absolutely just roar and uh, very clean shape. I, I really like them. And uh, it just was the evolution of the Countach became the, the, the uh, Diablo. And I don't know, it's just such a clean body line. And I feel like the Huracan captures it. You know, the, the Huracan holds a very efficient Lambo shape, uh, much like the Diablo, I think, in a lot of ways. But uh, V10 and regular doors. I mean, is it is it a Lambo lace if the doors don't go up? Yes. It is? I'd say yes. It's still Lambo to you. It's still Lambo to me. It still has the look. I mean, there's so many different Lambos. And you know what? 
people are putting Lambo doors on things that should not have Lambo doors. Right. So, can a Lambo not have Lambo doors? Yes. And still All have right. that look. So, yes. But don't see many of those. You got an old something or other. I can't remember what those are. You got some CTSVs, and Lace loves her CTSVs. I love CTSVs. Yeah. You got some blue ones over I there. See that. that color is pretty wild. Yeah, for a CTSV, pretty, pretty serious business. I personally like them in like white or black. Yeah, oh, the white is just goes far so good. Off. But the, now, are these CTS fives? I'm getting confused now because they're getting, they're changing their names. So it is a <laughs> CT five V Blackwing. So it is the CTS V okay. formerly. It's a CT five V. They're changing everything now. Right, so, right. so this is the Blackwing edition collector. Can't beat the color though for. I mean, to think that, you know, we went from this to this. It's impressive. It's, it's crazy. It really is. I don't think people who were driving these Cadillacs would have ever thought that Not they would be the monster speed today. machines that they have become in some iterations. It's crazy that they're not succeeding more because they try to compete with BMW and whatnot. But When it comes to classic cars, though, to me, I feel like Cadillac has a design that is just oh, yeah. impressive. You know, 58, 60. Look at the color, though. A great yeah, color. It can't be. That, that color is gorgeous. A pink Cadillac. Come on. Pink. It's a must. I mean, you're it's on Vegas. Back. I guess you have to have a pink Cadillac in Vegas, right? It's like an Elvis thing. I mean, I have to wonder if some of these cars are like OG Vegas. The Cadillac Ghia, which honestly, I think I may have seen on collecting classic cars of Wayne Carini at some point, but... Um, I think, I know in certain eras they were trying to incorporate Italian and European styling into some of the luxury stuff and they, they had companies that was trying to, I think, if I remember Cadillac was trying to work with Italian designers. Now I gotta go look. <laughs> Exotic looks of an Italian bodied custom. See? Yep. You see? You see guys, I kind of know some old stuff. You see? <laughs> I think just when you follow the history of the cars, I, I did. you just really... No, and you did. I do. I, Wayne Carini has taught me some things. <laughs> Even though I'm like a modern car guy, I do watch Wayne Carini quite a bit. I used to a lot on Velocity, but uh, I, I just like watching him find stuff. I don't know. I don't really care for the cars necessarily, but I appreciate what, what all of it is. You know, they don't have oh, lace. such a huge selection of lace. cars, but they have... There, that is a 300 SL Mercedes right there, Lace. 36 Auburn. Is it bad that I feel okay a lot of times passing up Ferraris and Lamborghinis because I see so many of them? I know. I mean, they drive to your work and it's like, I, I still think you see like, it's great to have these new Ferraris, but this old unique stuff, nobody has it. Right. You know, right. you still, you drive around Summerlin, you'll see like a couple of these, exactly. you know what I mean? And honestly, if you want to drive one, it's so easy to go on Toro right. and just drive one anymore. It's I mean, HB's before. car. Shout out to Evil Nick. That's HB's car. He loves uh, these yeah, things. Oh yeah, they'll say HB. Yep. Yep. Hi Nick, if you're watching. <laughs> the coding thing up there. Oh I yeah. Mean, the extremes. Yes, now we want to see extremes. I mean. It's so this, you look this up. This was like James Hetfield's cars, right? Some uh, of these. He has a, I think like five or so here. Three, three. The, I'm, I'm suspecting this. Look, this looks. If I know Metallica, I feel like this is got a good chance that this it, is yeah. James Hetfield stuff. This is uh, serious here. Yeah, so these are from, looks like they have a tag for Peterson's uh, Museum, so I would suspect these are probably Hetfield's stuff. Pretty sick. What do you think, Lace? It's sick. I mean, look how low it sits. love these uh, old cars. I'd love to drive one of these, man. Like, I would love to just cruise around in one. I don't know why. <laughs> Lace, would you like to drive around in like one of these type of cars and see what it was like? Like, I would. I think it would be really, really interesting. Like, I mean, it has to be pretty, pretty crazy. What an era, you know what I mean? Like, they're Completely. so tight and compact in the inside, but I mean, so, so lavish, you know, in design, just. You know, materials didn't cost much money. Uh, lots of right. metal, steel, chrome. You know, it's just crazy how they built them. Then you get a little 
creepy action is that? And then you got some of these folks sitting in the back. Uh, yeah, I mean, driving this has got to be awesome. I mean, when you get so used to seeing Ferraris, Lamborghinis, yeah. just as simple as like Camrys. And but this stuff, would be sick then... to drive around some oh, of them. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'd rather for drive sure. this in a Ferrari around. No, me too. <laughs> it's sick. Look at this. You got your, I think they, you have to set your timing on these. I think that's how they were. You had to control your ignition timing, gear selection. Man, I don't even know. Clutch, you got a lot of pedals. Somebody have to give me a driving course on this thing. Again, I just. Oh, look at that. I only know what I know from Wayne Carini. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're just, you're not far from the horse and buggy here. You no, know what I mean? No, but I mean, this looks like it retracts. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they had, should touch, but. Almost touched. Close yeah, to touch. But yeah, I mean, you got some, I guess, is your fuel tank down here? These were usually like inline eights, and, you know, they had some really odd I mean, engine configurations in these. But look at the headlights. Look at this. Those are pretty cool. It's headlamps. No, I turned around and I saw, look at the little storage compartment for baggage. Look at the V. Man, this is a pretty mean looking machine here. Blacked out wheels. I mean, look at this. That thing's sick. Oh man. It's a 1913. I want to roll that. Uh, I'll that roll thing's it. sick. No, I was like, look at the baggage carrier. I mean, I, obviously yeah. it looks like an add on, but I have to wonder, did they do that years oh, ago? I would think, yeah. 1917. Roomy. Roomy. <laughs> Roomy. Yeah, look at the room back here. Lots of room. It's really cool. See, look, Lace. You had to, where are you? Right here. So you had the timing oh, yeah. controls. Look at there, it says driving range. Oh, yeah. So you would set your timing, you know. I mean, talk about a learning curve. That's yeah. A, like, simple, yeah. but at the same time, look how almost easy driving became. Now. Yeah, oh, for sure. Like, this is almost like the legit, true manual car. Yeah, yeah, Everything I mean, it's... Manual. And that's where I think people get with the manual, they're like, see, we move forward, we get rid of all this. I mean, right. spark and things I get, but I don't know. I thought she was just up there for a moment. But. Oh no, I mean, it's a thing here for people to kind of like role play the air of their car. If you saw some people walking yeah. around, oh, for like sure. the guy had the top half a cane and everything. Yeah. You know? It's like a big deal. Well, they said dress up or not, some people just love to. Yeah. I'll have to see what's up here. She's, she's, she got a margarita or something up there. I don't know what she had. Speaking of margarita, this is I can a big use old vehicle <laughs> though. This thing is a monster. What is this? 14 liters, 900 cubic inch chain drive, 18 to 24 plugs. My personal salute to the great car from the dawn of the automobile. So uh, I just, I guess it's fully custom. This thing is huge. It is big. Beastie, look, she loves it. Did you drive this here? Did you drive this here? The mechanic drove it. <laughs> <laughs> these things, such a great shape. I love these cars. And you can see a lot of these and like, this is why I think I like the, the Triumph TR6 or whatever. It has a very similar shape. Uh, the Aston, there's an Aston Martin. It looks very similar to these. I just, I don't know. I think it's just the, it's kind of a muscular, muscular front end, flat. Uh, it kind of has that broad look. Love how high the fender arches are, but then you get that, that bigger area in the rear. So it just kind of gives it this muscular, sporty look. Very cool looking car. I love them. Love them, Lace. I like it. Some other things here, excuse me one second. You recall, the reason there's so many Cadillacs, this was the mark uh, okay, of yeah. the show, right? The cat was Cadillac, yes. so. I'm gonna view it here. And you can see they had these big inline, inline engines were a big thing back then. And uh, just a big inline, wow. lots of torque, didn't really rev very high, I don't think, but a 1931 Packard. Pretty cool looking car. You get some engine bay here because everybody wants to see the motor. Very simple, well maintained, obviously, very well taken care of. It, it's funny how you, you know, if you look at old uh, like Cessnas, like Comings and stuff, you see a lot of this similarity the way these spark plugs and things are. What do you think, Lace? Pretty sick. I mean, I like seeing these old cars. Yeah. It's impressive. What is Lace's best in show? What is like, what really stirred you in, in just a different kind of way? It doesn't have to be something you really would drive it around. Was, it was, it 
was. Are, oh, you're ready already. The one, because it, it stands out to me. Really? Because it stands out. I mean. This is your, this is your one. I mean, Cause, cause I you, have a few. You, you seem intrigued few. by the, some of the Cadillacs. It's the Cadillacs, for sure. But, but we're at a Cadillac show almost. So. Right, exactly. And I mean, to see those, I mean, I like that. But it was that one. That Packard, that black Packard. The black one, yes. Really? We just yes. looked at well, the was it over here? Oh wait, wait, wait. wait which where was it? Are you it? talking about the one with the black wheels, the, the black, black Cadillac wheels, yes. with the black wheels? Yes. Oh, that yes. was that's on my list. Yes, that's like top for me. Yeah, that thing was sick. Yes. The they're, lead sled thing. I mean, they're I like them. I like their, that they're custom. I mean, right. they stand out on their own for their own reasons. But I wouldn't personally put them in best of show. No, no. I mean, I like to see. I mean, it's original. I like seeing right. somebody else's it's work, it's and very it's custom. very custom, and it's it's I like seeing it. But when it comes to taking something like that, the old Cadillacs, and doing, you know, modern day twist and keeping it at the same time, yeah. so almost original, yeah. it looks so good. Yeah, it was I liked it. Yeah. I, I liked it. It's not super packed. It's a good group of people. Right. And a good selection of cars. I like seeing it. Yeah. It's a nice mix. Yeah. We have a 54. And uh, 54, red interior, white, very close to the very first you know what I mean that's the first way that they came white with red interior heat in line six pretty cool obviously 53 being the, the first year this is the second year but look he has an NCRS it's, uh, doesn't look like it looks it's a little rough so I mean I don't know if it's a driver original I uh, would have to really scour over it, but very clean car, looks very drivable. So, Lay, should we head to the lounge? I think so. I'm pretty thirsty. VIP lounge. It's actually, I mean, the sun's out. Yeah. It's 72, but it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Good. So, interestingly, we have some crash jewelry here, and this is from the different brands, Maserati, Ford, Harley-Davidson, Dodge. It's called crash jewelry. It's based out of Los Angeles. That's uh, definitely a pretty cool little thing. You may want to check them out. Okay. And it's called Fortnite. Okay. But the Corvette paint is pretty cool. Lots of different things. Corvette paint from Bowling Green. Corvette paint from Bowling Green. Ah, see that? So how how was most of this sourced? Just through auction goods, recovery of things, or my husband has a body shop. Okay. And uh, we're a tier two certified shop for Mercedes, and also we do Tesla. Okay. Um, and we work on late model cars, mostly right. luxury, high end. So right. I, my studio is in one of the garages. So oh, nice. I see the cars come in, and you yeah, know, and I'm like. You're gonna get a fender. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah, throwaway stuff. I mean, yeah, so yeah. so do you have uh, so you're based out of Los Angeles, I see. Do you have a website? A yeah, yeah, So yeah, let me give you a So guys, this is a lot of creative art made from wrecked pieces of various cars. And so I'm gonna post the link uh, in the description here if you wanted to go to her website. But uh, I may be talking to her about uh, maybe something potential in the future that we can come up with something for Corvettes. Pretty cool stuff. Let me check out this guy. Gerald Larabas. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but check him out. glarabas.com if you want to check out some pretty cool art. Looks like very good stuff. I guess maybe him over here. Looks like we've got some apparel, purses. Well, guys, here we are up on the upper deck. This is the VIP area. We have a bar behind us. See the mountains of Red Rock back behind me now. Great spot. Red Rock Casino, guys, if you ever come to Vegas and you don't want to stay on the strip, you stay at Red Rock Casino. Oh, we just climbed a huge flight of stairs. Whew. So Lace is eating a cookie. We got some catered food here. Uh, Biz Ab Jets. I think we're in the Miracle Flights suite. I don't know. Are we supposed to be in here, Lace? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Alrighty, we're sitting down, get something to eat here. Cool VIP lounge area. We actually, uh, we ended up in a suite that wasn't where we were supposed to be. I, I did I, I did steal a cookie. I, I didn't take none of that food, guys, don't worry. But uh, yeah, so we're here now where we belong. Yep. 
and uh, we're gonna get something to eat here. Pretty cool event though, it's been nice. This is a great looking ball field and facility, I must say. Cool to hold an event like this. Maybe we'll have a night drive TV super duper event here one day. Super super event? Yeah, super super event like that. And that guy's super super, super car can yeah. come. <laughs> Turning on my mic. Lace is trying to mic up. Yeah. What'd you think of your snack? It was pretty good. So, I think it's the awards thing. Let's go outside. Yeah. Should we go outside, Lace? Yeah. Going through a little award ceremony here, and they're kind of doing a drive by. It's pretty cool. I'm sitting in there all day. All day. All day. She got an umbrella at least. You want that job? Yeah. You already modeled for today. I did. Yeah. They've <laughs> been idling for a while. They have. I was thinking that sitting here. It was weird that you said that because I was thinking that. They're running. But first, I'd like because you see, it SEMA ignited. People's oh, stuff boys. doesn't hold. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Here, let's go I this think way. We can go elevators. Well, we came and saw. We came and saw. It was interesting. It was. It was oh, a nice little star. Uh oh. I guess we'll find it. Oh geez. Well, it was a good event, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, cool cars. We yes. wanted to see something different. She came. I did. Throw me a comment. Subscribe, obviously, if you haven't. See you on the next one.